It looks like Aaron's found something absolutely incredible. I'm not entirely sure what it is just yet, but it's going to show me now. Let's go and have a look at it. Apparently it's just in the stones in this area. So let's see if we can spot it. It's quite a lot to look through. A lot of the material is limestone, so there's plenty of material that it could be. Okay, I've spotted it now. Looks pretty nice. Let's see if you can spot it at home. So what you're looking at is a huge limestone nodule and within there should be a really large ammonite. If you look just here, you can see the edge of an immense hildoceros ammonite. Now it's slightly buried in the shingle, so hopefully when we take it out, it's going to be all within the nodule. It's definitely the best find of the day. What an immense size ammonite. This specimen is looking like it might have the potential of being one of our best ever examples of this type of ammonite. Let's remove some of the shingle and look and see if it is indeed complete. Oh wow, look at the size of that. That is going to be a stunning ammonite. I can't wait to split this open and reveal what's inside. Wow. We cannot wait to open this ammonite up. So far, so good. It looks like it's going to be an incredible specimen. But we're not there just yet. Let's have a further look at it and then think about opening it. Let's go wash it in the water. I'm really excited to see what it looks like once we've taken all the mud off. Wow, look at that. That is surreal. Let's hope it splits well. I'm really excited to split this. Let's find a nice flat rock to split it on. This one looks good over here. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's cracked already. Look at that. It didn't take much persuasion at all. We have almost opened the nodule now. A crack has formed all the way around the ammonite and we are about to find out what creature is preserved within. Let's have a look. There we are. Moment of truth. Let's have a look. Whoa! 
Whoa, <laughs> look at that. That's huge. It's split perfectly. This is definitely one for our fossil collection. It's huge. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. It's not very often that you find an ammonite of this size and this well preserved. It's one of the best that we've found in a very long time. It's days like this that make days of collecting and finding nothing all that little bit more worthwhile. There's no guarantee that you'll find anything when you come onto the beach, but it makes up for it when you find specimens like this. We hope you enjoyed watching this short clip of us finding such a beautiful fossil. We can't wait for you to join us in our next adventure. What an absolutely superb find. Next up, we're going to head into the workshop and have a look at an equally impressive ammonite fossil that our dad has been working on and preparing. This is just one of the many fossils we have been working on and we have so many exciting upcoming videos for you to watch. The fossil we are preparing here is a large Harposerus ammonite. You can see the edge of the ammonite protruding through some of the limestone. Once it was certain that there was indeed a large ammonite within this rock, the next step was to carefully prepare it back in the workshop. This type of specimen is quite rare and has the potential to be incredible, so it wasn't a type of fossil which we were able to open with the hammer. Our dad is using a variety of tools to remove the bulk of the limestone initially and then as we get closer to part of the outer worlds of the specimen we can use finer detailed pneumatic pens to remove more and more of the rock. Every now and again we have to apply a little bit of maintenance to the stone to ensure it keeps intact. Many nodules of this size will contain natural hairline fractures and they can start to open up during the preparation process. Hence we need to keep on top of them to help keep the fossil intact and the best quality preparation possible. At this point our dad has already spent several hours preparing this specimen and you can already see it coming to life from beneath all of that limestone that was initially covering it. There's a few more hours work still to go, but our dad is more than capable of finishing this specimen off. In just a moment, we will show you the finished result of this Harposerus ammonite. It's turned out absolutely incredible. Let's have a look at the final result. A few hours later, doing the final touches, and here we have it. It's quite surreal to think that we started off with that large limestone rock and in a matter of hours prepared out this really cool specimen which is now preserved for the rest of time for so many people to enjoy. We have lots of other exciting projects in the works and we can't wait to show you them. We hope you've enjoyed today's video and the finds that we managed to make. Not only that, but we got to see inside the workshop and we can't wait to head there again in one of our upcoming videos. 
Here's a preview of our latest fossil hunting adventure, where we also did some fishing and cooking. If you haven't watched it, make sure to give it a watch. We're going to finish off with some drone footage. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.